Hey there technology fans, Darth can ever see your hands, welcome back to another epic technology video. Uh, I don't usually do two videos in the same day guys, but I'm quite impressed with this, so I thought I would add this in. Now, um, I recently got a PS TV, which is a PlayStation TV, uh, which is actually a PlayStation Vita, that's just basically... It's, they made this really for remote play, but the really good thing is though, you can still download games, so it's basically a PS Vita without a screen that you can obviously use a... A DualShock 3 or a DualShock 4 controller with it as well, which is really good. So, uh, one thing I wanted to show you guys is the HDMI output. Okay, so what I've done is, I've connected my PSTV, which is <coughs> which is right here. Okay, um, the only thing, I, I cannot stand small things like this. I love the fact it's tiny. That's really, really cool. Don't you say it in dirty. I love the fact of how small this device really is, but... The fact that you've got a big HDMI cable sticking out kind of drags about the place. It's kind of annoying. You think they would put some rubber feet underneath here or something to stick it to something? I don't know. Maybe I'll get like a Velcro sticker and stick it on you know, my unit or something like that. You know, whatever. But what I've done is, uh, the, the DVD player is going to be running off the internal battery. But I do have a, a battery bank, which is right here, which will power the... The PSTV. So if I just hit this one, so the battery bank will come on. And as you can see, the little light there, the LEDs come on for that. Okay. And turn on the DVD player itself. Okay. And then you just hit you just hit mode and then select HDMI. And there it is. There you go. As easy as that. There's one thing I cannot stand is these goddamn selfie sticks. I got one just to do videos like this, but the, the thing is though, the pain in the ass things. You know, you, you set them up and then they just, like, they'll sit like that and then they'll just gradually go like this. I actually hate them. Anyway, so yep, here's my uh, DualShock 3 controller and we are connected. There we go. And yeah, I can just, you know, play whatever game to my heart's content. So I will do a full video on this one to show off all the games I've got on it, what I've put on it. Uh, I've still, I'm still in the process of, you know, configuring it, you know, so that should be a, a nice little video for you guys to watch. So anyway, yeah, so I've got, I think it's a hundred and, oh, sorry, 280 PS1 games. And I've got a... Uh, 30 PS Vita games. I've still had PSP games, by the way. But, you know, playing playing these games is fun. So, well, there's one of my favourite games I'll load up, and that is Mortal Kombat. I don't know if the, the problem is, is the phone. Ignore the stuff in the background, guys. I'm actually waiting on uh, someone coming out to do a, a gas check, so I have to get all the stuff out of the cupboard. And the thing that really, really annoys me is when you're, you're sitting here waiting all day. The thing is, oh, well, I'm actually working tonight, so I work. I start work at six. You know, this is currently twenty to four in the afternoon, and I, I need to sit here and wait all day for this guy or woman or whoever to show up. And you know, no doubt they'll probably show up before I leave for work, but you know what, that's their problem. You know, it's not my problem. There we go, more combat, and let's just do a little fatality tutorial. So the great thing is, oh yes, I can run this off of a battery bank, which is great as well, so... Um, that's something I'm really happy with, because uh, my portable monitor would not let me... Uh, display the PS TV for some reason. I don't really know why. Uh, all the wires were correct. Everything was plugged in properly. So I don't really know why. Finish it. You know. Whack. Whack. Boop. And split. Uh, so yeah, this is this is obviously one of the reasons why I had purchased this one. Okay, so one of my favourite. Um, PlayStation 1 games is... Where are we? Aha! 
good old Doom. Now, I don't even know why it does it. It doesn't do this on my PS Vitas, but it does this on the PS TV. You know, when you first, like, boot the console and you try and boot into a PS1 game, it always comes up like that. I don't really know why. I don't know if there's a plug in to fix that or something. There's probably something somewhere to fix that. Uh, there we go, the classic PS... So, on camera, this looks very... The PlayStation logo here looks very, very washed out for some reason, but on in real life, I can assure you, it's very, very vivid, very colourful. I have, you know, kind of farted about the settings. As you, you can hear how loud this thing is because it's being projected through HDMI. Um, so, yeah, I've, I've, I've figured, fiddled with the settings, like the sharpness, the brightness, saturation, contrast, uh, all those sort of things. And this is my favourite intro ever for any game. I've always wanted that for a Steam Deck intro. You, you know, you get the, in, the boot intros on the Steam Deck. You get the custom ones. I would love that. Same thing, but except the, the Steam logo coming up with that music. That would just be so epic. So because this has got adrenaline, um, you can do save states. I haven't done a save state from, for uh, Doom yet. So let's get this one fired up. There we are. Some, this is my favourite Doom port ever. You know, a lot of people would would say their favourite Doom port is Doom 64, which I agree, Doom 64 is definitely my favourite Doom game. But this is my favourite port of Doom. So this is a port of the original, whereas in Doom 64 is technically its own game. So yeah, like I said, guys, um, you just I can just load up the game. But you probably noticed that Doom there ha isn't in. I like my games in full screen, and I can't get Doom to run full screen. But obviously that's the way it's supposed to be. It's just obviously the window, probably the way they have to get it to run to make it have a smooth one. So as you can see, with the, uh, this is Alien Trilogy, and you can see the how this is in full screen. I can turn that off and put it in four by three if I wanted, but I do prefer full screen. This would be so much better to play at night time, obviously, guys, because it's during the day. There's, um, there's a lot of reflections as well, and it's quite dark, but that's, that was a lot better. Oh, 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 oh. Another one, another one. Come on, come on. Yes! So, what I can do is, guys, if I press this button here, and if I go to information, let's see, there we go, 1280 by 720, so this is output in the 720p, which looks really nice. Damn, I keep pressing, because I was playing Doom there, I keep pressing, uh, I keep pressing um, triangle. So, uh, if you guys want to know how to play... Uh, PS1 games full screen on the PS TV. You have to download a a plugin called Sharp Skill, which is right there. So you have to put the uh, S S was it SPK RX the, or the script file. Yeah, you put the script file obviously in your data folder uh, in your Thai folder. Uh, once you do that, once you load this up, this loads up just like this. So then obviously you get all your your different stuff. Uh, so I could put this on 4x3 if I wanted to, I could put it on pixel mode as well, uh, but I do, I do prefer 16x9, you know. So, anyway guys, that's just a quick video, uh, obviously it's a lot longer than I expected to do, but uh, yeah, so this monitor, uh, this t uh, DVD player is brilliant because it's got, you know, best of both worlds, and plus you've seen the size of the PS TV, so I can easily go in the, the bag that I've got and I can just take that into work with me, I can take it anywhere with me, and I can plug that through. Uh, I'm not really sure. I, actually, I'm going. I'm actually going to try something here, guys. Now, I'm powering this through my battery bank, but I want to see if it, since there's an internal battery, let's check that out. Actually, so what we'll do is I'll just quickly shut this down. Power off. There we go. Right. Let's see. So here we go. Here we go. And then this is actually my PS, my USB charger from my PSP. So where's the, let me 
maybe the wrong way around, and yes, it is. Oh, it works. <laughs> no, no way. Right, so let's uh, power this bad boy on. So yeah, well, it is flashing, as you can see. I don't know what that means. Let's see, there we go. That's it solid there. Hmm, I don't think it does work that way. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yes, it actually works. No way. So yeah, I can put that just there. Uh, so yeah, that's me powering. Um, not a chance. Ah, damn. It must have been when I connected it. That flash in there must have been... It was try, It must have cut off during the boot, in, uh, the boot logo or something like that. I don't know, really. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's really, really cool. So I'll do a quick jump cut, guys. Okay, there we go. That's our finished update in the database. And... Oh, fucker, man, what the hell? So let's try this again. <sighs> so yeah, that does work for the USB, but I don't think it's a good idea to do that. <laughs> so let's just plug this back in and let's try that again. So yeah, I don't know what happened there. I don't know if it's maybe when I disconnected it. Um, there was a possibility of something. It's obviously cut off maybe or I pressed the button when it's in the middle of updating. I don't know. About 12 minutes left, but then again, there's a lot of stuff on here. So I'll see you in 12 minutes. But for you guys, it'll just be like a blink of an eye. Almost there, guys. Uh, so from what I can see is... Um, it's it's probably not not corrupted anything, but there we go. That's the speed up now. Uh, there's a possibility where everything's going to be everywhere, so which will require a few several reboots to get everything back in their folders. That's that happened to me before with my PS Vita. Before um, I accidentally removed the the SD to Vita um, while it was powered on, and that happened. Took ages because there's so much on it. Uh, it took absolutely forever, <laughs> so I had to kind of redo everything. So, but there we go. So as you can see, everything's kind of everything's there, but they're all jumbled up. Yeah. You know, I can't. I thought that may have happened. But then again, I actually thought most of them would have been out, out of the folders, so this one would be a lot easier if. Easy to fix. So what I'll do is quickly just to make sure everything's fine, and uh, just load up Mortal Kombat again. But yeah, at least this this can actually play through the power, the obviously the USB on this as well. So you can, you know, play a PS Vita on the go through USB and obviously HDMI. That's so cool. That is really really cool. And there we go. Everything works fine. Just has just everything has to be rearranged again. So that's that only take me ten minutes to do all that. And they're all. At least everything's still in their folders, so right, I'll just power this one off. Anyway, guys, so yeah, that's it for the end of this video. We're not a bit longer than I expected to, but then again, I was trying a few other things, so that is really good. Um, and yeah, I'm really, really happy with this thing. Um, look forward to obviously watching my animes, my wrestling DVDs, and whatever else. And uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, smash the like button, throw me your double horns, and Subscribe to my channel for more epic technology stuff like this. And the next video I probably will do is something PlayStation-y. It might not be my PS TV, it might be something else that's related to PlayStation. So, hope you look forward to that one, guys. And, sayonara.